Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a customization. I actually bought this little pony in just this shape here with absolutely no paint on her or hair. Um, she is discolored but it's not going to really matter because we're going to paint right over that. We're actually painting her today with some Black 2.0. It's a Stuart Semple paint that you might have heard of. It is supposed to be the blackest, maddest paint out there before they had Black 3.0, but that was so much more expensive that I just decided to go with Black 2.0. But it was um, his response to Vanta Black, and Vanta Black was a substance that was created that um, the only person that was allowed to use it was its creator, so he came out and he created Black 2.0 as a response to that. But it is just our acrylic paint. It's a nice quality one. It is the most expensive acrylic paint that I've ever bought, I will say. Of course we have to give her her eyes. So I'm just putting a layer of white paint where her whites of her eyes would be as a background. After I get this finished off camera I do put in the pupil area. Just some things are just a lot easier to do off camera because in this case I am kind of stretching my arms out away from me. And I'm getting older, so it's harder to see things farther away. So right now, slightly off camera, I am getting my dotting tool. It's a tool that I use mainly for clay, but you may have one for nail art. And then I'm just gonna put the little eye shines on for this lovely girl here. So now I'm confronted with the fact that she's black. The last time I sketched on the cutie mark of my custom with a pencil, but and I didn't want to do that because she was painted and she was black, so I decided to use a white gel pen. I do a lot of art other than this, and whenever I'm trying to do something over top of black, a white gel pen comes in handy. In this case, it worked wonderfully. I actually used it as a sort of paint base as well because with a small paintbrush and some water, I could spread it out just like paint and it worked wonders. The control was nice and it had great coverage.
Here I'm using glow in the dark paint to finish off our cutie mark. And of course I do all of this again on the other side when I'm done. So next I'm going to give her a tail, and I'm using some nylon hair from Shimmerlocks. That's shimmerlocks.com, and this is the shade Pumpkin Patch. So I'm just going to measure off how much that I want. I'll cut it, zip tie it, and put it in. Next up, I'm going to rehair her mane. And again, I'm just using that pumpkin patch from Shimmerlocks. And I'm going to incorporate some tinsel, just like I did in the tail as well. This is still my most frustrating part of customizing. I just never seem to get better at this. And if, if you uh, do any of that out there and you have some tips and tricks, feel free to leave them in the comments or just share my frustration in the comments as well. And of course, once you have uh, put the hair plugs in, you have to glue them in place. I'm just using tacky glue. I know that there is uh, probably better glue out there. This is just gonna go right on my shelf. So I'm not gonna have kids, you know, brushing it and pulling it out. Same thing goes with the paint. I do have sealant and stuff, 
but it is so toxic and it takes so much to, to use. Unless I feel like I'm gonna sell one of these, I probably won't do that. But if I were gonna sell it, I would make sure that I sealed everything and I had everything nice and glued down. But again, this is just gonna go on my shelf so I can just look at her. And there we have her, the finished product. Her beauty mark does actually glow in the dark. All three of those paints are glow in the dark. Um, if I had a better camera, I would show you. It's not crazy bright, but it it's kind of cool. Well, I hope you had fun. I hope you learned something. And I will see you guys next time.